Wow. You know, I, I, that's a fantastic question. And I would say that, subhanAllah, I think in a lot of these cases, the more we understand ourselves, the, the more we, we start to understand that something is affecting us and we're not really happy with it. But subhanAllah, you know, human nature, it takes time to like, to see patterns time and time again and finally realize, wait a minute, I don't like this. This is not healthy. Right? So that's number one, is kind of that self-realization that, that something is, is amiss, like something needs to change. Um, and then secondly, really being able to go about expressing your feelings in a non-confrontational manner, in a non-confrontational environment. So the argument that we had, it was a light one, right? But uh, when we started to resolve it, what if we got so heated we needed to take a break? You know, so that's something that's important. We never want to bring up these important conversations during a heated moment, when, you know, after dinner, hungry, all those kind of things when we're hungry. So choosing the right, you know, having the realization, choosing the right time, and then really being able to bring up how you feel about the situation. Um, if you bring it up in a manner that is a non-confrontational, meaning talk about what you're feeling and what you would like, is much more powerful than saying what you don't like and what they're doing. So if I say, for example, um, you know, you, you're always asking for things um, when I'm extremely exhausted. You're asking for dinner when it's like super late at night or I don't know, a third snack, whatever. I'm just going to, it's always about food. So I'm just going to like throw that out there for me at least. Not I, with I me. love food. Not with me. Not with you. Not with you. No, I habit. love food. So food comes to my mind. Yeah, you're habit. great. Mashallah. <laughs> um, uh, then you would, then you would want to say, for example, you know, I feel really tired when it's late at night. And I would really like it that any requests you have, you know, that you help yourself to fruit or whatever, um, and, and you say what, what it is you want. That's, that's a light example. Or I would really appreciate it that if you have a concern that you don't share negative things that are really personal with your mom. I would appreciate that. Instead of, you're always telling your mom private things about me that's really upsetting me, that's so annoying, right? So it, it, it's difficult. There may be some reactions, it may take time it may take, again, and you know, having that facilitated, if it's something that's really painful and really um, that's you know, per prevalent in your marriage, it's something that's very persistent, it may take a third party to help, again, like counseling. But giving space for, for, for you know, these hurt feelings to express them in positive ways as much as possible and giving it time. Learning when to take a break from an argument when it gets heated and coming back to try to find that resolution, inshallah. One, one thing that's really important in marriage is, you know, theoretically, marriage is supposed to be unifying. But practically speaking, in the beginning of marriage, and many people for many years beyond, marriage is, can be very conflictual, meaning it's two people coming together. Lubna doesn't like when I give this whole little spiel, but marriage in itself can be conflictual, meaning two people are coming together, trying to unify as one unit, so and to navigate life accordingly well that unification process like that intentional conscious deliberate um, process needs to take place in that way and for a lot of people they don't realize that they just go on about life and they never negotiated navigated figured out their boundaries they never came to be on the same page you have to have usul you have to have foundational principles by which you your marriage works on and a lot of people don't take the time to even figure out what that is. You know, you just go into marriage and you go into marriage without even figuring out how do we fight? What are our rules of engagement? What, are, uh, what do we want for our children? What are our shared goals? What are our shared dreams? What do we want out of life together as a couple? What do we want for our family? That all needs to be like, it needs to be brought out. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be, um, uh, you know, shared together in, in conversation and constantly developed as we grow with each other.